summertime and the living's easy and I'm back with another crate for Herbology so lit joy magical edition Herbology class so on here it looks like we have a Cornish pixie inside of a garden I can't tell if those are supposed to I think those are supposed to be window frames with plants in front of it and here we have a Cornish pixie with some earmuffs of course some mandrakes and some mimbolus mimbletoma and then some books and a watering can a hogwarts student i wonder i would say it was going to be neville but looks like some red hair poking out so not quite sure now on the bottom just a shovel so let's see what we got inside the box feels a little bit heavy so there's some of that stuff let's get going right here okay so first thing we got our little cheat sheet we'll set that to the side and deal with that later which leaves a whole bunch of boxes and a bag so because of its unusualness we will start with the bag it's a nice cloth canvas bag it says greenhouse three on it i need you to stay open now box doesn't want to cooperate it must be all of the magical plants trying to burst out so greenhouse three nice cloth bag with a drawstring <laughs> and it looks like we have some earmuffs so there you go some earmuffs not not something i was expecting in a box i'm opening in july but here we go i mean they're nice and fuzzy they feel like they're nice and soft don't know that i will ever get some use out of these but uh it's the theme so next we have a plain brown box taped shut so we'll have to cut that open I don't recall too many boxes being taped shut in subscription boxes looks like a pot uh, if I can pull it out of there there we go so I think it is there we have an engraved mandrake. This feels like it's definitely wood. It could be bamboo. Um, a nice little flower pot, no hole in the bottom. So you're going to have to plant something that uh, sucks up a lot of water, but not bad. This, um, I thought it was going to be a mug when I opened it up. So I'm very glad it's not a mug. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Um, I like that it's, it's small. It is about a little bit bigger than a mug. Maybe those oversized mug size. So that's not, um, it's not going to have too big of a footprint on a windowsill or something like that. So not bad. And then we have the box right next to it, which has the greenhouse on it. And I'm afraid this might be a mug too. Yep. There it is. They certainly love their campers mugs. And that's what it is. A mug with some greenhouses and some plants overgrowing. So the artwork is good. I like it. You see they have some nice detailing in there. I'm just not a mug person. So to be determined where this spends the rest of its life. And then it looks like we only have I think four more items looks like we had oh, okay some sort of book beginner's guide to magical herbs and fungi let's see if we can get it open I'm sure it's going to be a journal but there you go we've got some mushrooms and some cornish pixies and various different kinds of flora and fauna and then on the back just a little small of the same and then whoa very very gold foiled on the inside cover i'm going to assume the same on the back cover there you go and um yeah just blank lined paper on the inside so as far as um journals notebooks go this is good i enjoy it it's very well themed however i'm just i'm not a notebook person don't uh 
Don't know what I would use it for. Set it to the side. I do like that it appears to have a built-in bookmark, which is always a plus. Yeah, there we go. So a little ribbon for the bookmark. So that's good. And then uh, I thought that was a planter, but now I'm thinking it's a pestle and mortar because here I have my wooden to smash. So I don't know what I, if this is not a planter. I guess that may now makes sense why there's not a hole in the bottom for plants. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This is the first time in my life I've seen a pestle and mortar um, in person and not just, you know, on TV or on the internet or something. So I don't know. have to look up what you do with that. Um, okay. Looks like we are going to get a wand from the Lit Joy wand shop. Always a nice, cool box. So let's open it up and see what we got. Oh, cool box I just broke. Wand properties, chestnut wood, phoenix feather core, nine and three quarter inches, unyielding. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, so at the top we have some leaves with some berries, I guess. And then going down the wand, we have some more twigs and berries. I don't know if it's going to focus, but there are some different colored, different shape leaves, almost like some ferns and some typical leaves with some bumps. Um, it's not bad. If I, I know wands will come in all different shapes and sizes, but I feel like this one is just a little bit small. Um, like right here behind me, I have a replica of Snape's wand. And I mean... Look, you can see it's considerably, like if I had to guess, I would say four inches shorter. Maybe that'll show you a little bit better. So a little bit small as far as a wand goes. Not that that's a bad thing. It's still pretty neat and um, it will live with the rest of my wand collection. Okay, and then we're down to our last two items, our one item is, of course, our square art print, which we can us assume that that is Pomona Sprout in the greenhouse repotting mandrakes. So, not bad. Same uh, artwork as on the outside of the box. And then we have a small brown box. Looks like it opens like a book. Yep, nope. I don't know what's in there, but I dumped some of it out. So let's open it up this way. So it looks like we have some fake grass with some potion bottles in there. Okay, so let me see, turn this around and see what I can see. Okay, so it's some potion ingredients. This says Aspidel, and then you know, we have some small little flowers in there. This one says Mandrake Root, and then we have some stems in there, some roots. Oh. And this says highly toxic wolfsbane. And then some small little plants in there. And then finally we have mugwort. So we've got mugwort and there it is in the back in green. I'm, I'm sure you can see all of this little stuff that is dropping everywhere it's from this grass bed that they put in there and it's it's very dry and it's um it's that fake moss you would get at a place like michael's or something to use in your um your crafts um so not bad i like it it's visually pleasing um but i think practically it's practically impractical so we'll leave it there all right, so that's all the items in the box. Let's pull out the cheat sheet and see what we got. Wolfsbane on the front. The branch wand. Okay. The wooden mortal and pestle. 
it doesn't really tell me what to do. Pestle measures 3.7 inches and um, I'm sorry, the mortar is 3.7 inches by 3.9 inches, and the pestle is 1.2 by 1. It's made of bamboo, so I don't know. Seems good to me. The plant specimen box. Keep your precious plants and herbs safe in the plant specimen box. Okay. The herbology greenhouse mug. Wake up and smell the magical plants and fungi. So, okay. dishwasher and microwave safe. Holds 12 ounces. The Mandrake Protective Earmuffs. Hurry to Greenhouse 3. The last ones there will have to wear the pink Mandrake Protective Earmuffs. The Beginner's Guide to our Herb and Fungi Notebook. So, yep, not bad. And then just about the add-ons, which I don't get. And then coming next, the Take Me Home box. So, not bad. We'll wait for that to arrive. Overall, I feel like for Lit Joy Crate, I don't know if these items were more expensive, but I feel like there's usually more. One, two, three, four, five, six items. Well, I guess it's a little on the low side for them, but um, not bad. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what, I, what use I can get out of this. I don't quite know. So, uh, I guess there's no better place to end it than right there. So, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you when more owls stop by my house. Thanks.